Hi, I'm Connor from B2B International and I'm here today to talk to you about seven top tips for creating buyer personas in your organisation. Why can buyer persona development be so valuable for your company? Well, a lot of companies struggle with what we call the four W's, which is figuring out who the right people are that you should be building relationships with, what the right messages are to bring them on board or to help retain them as customers, where, which is about the right channels and message formats uh, to be reaching them through and communicating with them, and when, which points in the buyer journey or the customer journey are these personas going to be most impactful or most influential. The idea behind developing personas is that your sales and marketing teams can focus on somebody, not just anybody. So, seven top tips. Um, you can read a lot more about this in the white paper, which we will link to at the end of the video, but I'll just go through each of the seven now. So, number one, segmentation is preferable, but it's not a necessary condition of creating personas. If you have segmentation that sits behind your, the development of your personas, that can be really valuable, but don't let the lack of a segmentation stop you from developing personas. Number two, research helps, but again, don't let the lack of research prevent you from doing the work to develop personas in the first place. In other words, don't let perfection be the enemy of good. And research can come from a variety of sources. Of course, as a research company, we'd recommend that you get fresh insights, but also if you have secondary research or uh, intelligence that exists from within the organization, be it quantitative or just anecdotal from your sales teams, for example, then that can be valuable as well. Number three is to not try to go from zero to 100 in six seconds. Take a step back before you start putting a name and a face to your groups or your segments and just start with faceless segments uh, of your customer base. That will enable you to figure out exactly what is important to them and what your business might be able to do to serve them better without going too far down the line before you've even started. Number four, remember that when developing personas, generalizing is fine. In fact, it's the name of the game. A lot of companies struggle because they want to create a thousand personas for a thousand customers. The idea here is that we're trying to simplify things and play the odds. So having three, four, five, six personas to cover a broad swathe of your customer base is absolutely fine. Number five is fairly self-explanatory because we're talking about developing personas and that is that you should be describing your personas as people. They should be personified. In other words, they need to have a face, they need to have a name and you need to be talking about them not as if they were random groups of customers, segment A, segment B, etc. But actually John or James or Jane, they should, be, they should have a face, they should be personified and that will help uh, your sales and marketing teams to really embed the idea of these personas throughout their various functions. Number six is to visualize the personas and to make them visible. It's no good just having these personas exist on a PowerPoint slide or in a, in a Word document or even worse on a flip chart that you created once in a brainstorming workshop. The idea here is that you create the personas and bring them to life through visuals like infographics and profiles and interactive dashboards and things like that. And secondly, make them visible throughout your organisation. You want people to see them as they walk through the offices. They, they need to be up on walls, walking through corridors. They need to be a, a real living, breathing part of your company. Finally, number seven is to encourage conversations around the personas. The ideal situation here would be that a few months after creating the personas themselves, you hear your employees talking about the personas as if they were actual customers. Make it water cooler conversation have them thinking about what movies the persona would like, what sports they like, what, what their home life um, constitutes as well as what they are like in their business, um, in their business lives, because that will again will help to embed the persona um, in your organisation. For more information about the development of personas and how it can help your organisation, please click the link below. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them on our site or get in touch directly with us at B2B International. Thank you very much.